I have this pizza pan that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start by using some Wise Owl white primer. Now I'm just giving one coat because I'm going to be covering this, but I do want to lighten the background just a little bit and also make it so that I can adhere my napkin a little better. Once that is dry, I have this orange napkin that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Now they have it in the orange, the lemon, and also a watermelon. I'm going to remove the back layer one ply from the napkin. And using some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear, I'm going to apply that to my pizza pan on top of the white primer. Now this is self-leveling. You don't want to apply too much, but you do need to cover the entire surface. I'm going to lay my napkin down onto the pizza pan and make sure all parts of the napkin are touching. Some of it is going to go around the rim of the pizza pan. I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap and I'm going to use this to help me get out my wrinkles and any bubbles. So you just lay the saran wrap down. You can use your fingers. I have this brayer that really helps get the wrinkles and bubbles out. And you're just going to rub on top of the saran wrap while the one hour enamel is still wet. You do not want to over rub as you can rip the napkins, especially the ones that come from the Dollar Tree. You are going to lift up the saran wrap once you feel you have rubbed out the wrinkles and bubbles. Following that, you're then going to apply another layer of the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. You can also use the Wise Owl Varnish or Mod Podge. And I'm just going to set that aside to fully dry. Once it was dry, I then went back to my Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear, and I'm going to be adding some orange glitter to my project. So I'm applying the One Hour Enamel Clear to one section of the orange, and I'm only applying it to where I want the glitter to adhere to. So after I pour the orange glitter on, I just take my finger and I just tap it a little bit to make sure that it is adhering to the One Hour Enamel Clear. And then after everything is fully covered, I am going to go around the rim as well since the napkin did not fully cover the entire rim of the pizza pan. I am going to cover that with a little bit of this orange glitter. Once I had all the areas covered with the glitter, I'm then going to turn it upside down and dump all the excess glitter off and allow that to dry. I have this metal word hello. I get these right from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to spray paint that with some white spray paint. And when it was dry, I flipped it over and I'm going to glue these small little white beads on the back side. And they're small enough so you cannot see them from the front. And then I'm going to place some hot glue on the beads and adhere that to the bottom of the pan here. Now you can also use some E6000. The E6000 is an industrial strength glue, but it just takes longer to dry. I have some greenery that I'm going to add to the top here. I just twisted two pieces together, leaving a space in between. And then I have this white burlap bow that I made, and I'm going to glue that right here in the center. Now you can add any hanger of your choice to the back. Since this is a lightweight, I just add a piece of jute with some hot glue. And there you go. Now we have this inexpensive door hanger. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.